Today we're working on a 97 Nissan pickup. That's what it's called is a Nissan pickup. This guy is taking it out to Mexico. So he said, I want this thing to be ready for the sand dunes, for the mud, all that stuff. We're putting on their 17 by nine fuel rebels, Toyo AT3 all-terrain tires. We're gonna put some ditch lights and some mounting lights that are gonna go right up here. And he wants specific lights. They're gonna go mounted right up on this thing. It's gonna be a cool little build. It's a fun thing. This guy said he does not care where we pull, bolt these things or how it even looks. He just wants it to ride in the desert, ride in the mud, and just give it that badass look that I think we're gonna get. So let's start there. All right, well, uh, so we will not be doing fuel rebels on this thing. Um, as much as I would love to, because it would look awesome and it would match as Colorado, um, it's not gonna work and uh, I messed up. Essentially, the reason why these won't work, the factory hub size on that or hub board that I need um, is essentially 106, which is what these are. The problem is it has the snap-in center cap. With the snap-in center caps, which you can kind of see here, and I'll flip the wheel around so that you can see it, it's got this lip on the inside. The hub bore is measured from the inside of this lip. It does not take into account this part up here, which is where the snap-in is. Um, now, we'll go up front real quick and I'll show you a wheel that does not uh, have that issue that has the same hub bore on it. And so that's a 106.1. And then I've got a fuel coupler up here that has the same exact hub bore. So as you can see right there, it's got a 106.1 on the hub bore. Rotated around since it's got full center cap. You can see it goes all the way through. And since the center cap is a, a bolt on one with the Allen bolts, you don't have to worry about having that ring to snap in the center cap. So we're gonna be looking for new wheels for him. Um, he's gonna come back in later today and we're gonna go over some options, but it's probably gonna be one that has the center cap so that we can fit it over that factory um assembly on there and so unfortunately things like this happened so probably should have done a little more research on it but it is what it is we're gonna get him a different set of wheels hopefully something that looks pretty good too so a little update on the nissan uh so the customer came in we ended up switching wheels we're actually going to go with the american racing ar 172 in all black a little more of a classic look even though we wanted to match his colorado um but we're just going to stick a little bit more classic kind of keep it in its ear range there so we shouldn't have any issue with those ones the hub bore is bigger plus the center cap pushes in from the back side so should not have any issue but on to this tahoe here that we just did headlights i'll show you why see all that water in there yeah that's that's not good for headlights so uh we ended up switching them out to some anzo ones which i'll show you up front here so they've got the drl uh right in the center here and then it's got this drl that goes around the outside kind of gives it a, a new look kind of updates the front end a little bit these things come with pretty good lighting from factory but uh this is just a nice little upgrade to kind of set it off a little bit differently than any of the uh, other Tahoe's on the road. So pretty happy with the outcome of this and I'm sure the customer will be too. Back again with this 97 Nissan pickup. We did is these ditch lights and we also mounted up these lights that are up here, giving it a nice rugged look. Again, this car's going out to the desert. He's gonna use it for that purpose to have it outdoors and just go mudding with it. Uh, Marty already said earlier, the wheels that we originally picked out did not fit. But we have other ones coming, American Racing tires. We're going to put, put them on this baby next week, next Friday. So hopefully we either see it on this video or it comes on next week. Either way, uh, we're excited for this build. Again, it's, it's a unique little pickup truck. And I think uh, we're going to have some fun with it. We've got this two-door JK in here today from a good customer of ours, longtime customer of ours. We've done quite a bit to this Jeep over the years. 
and uh, he's done most of the installs himself so we've almost never really posted it um, but today we did a new set of wheels and tires on there so we did the Toyo Open Country AT3s um, along with some fuel vapors and the DDT that deep dark tint finish um, but I'll kind of run you down what all is on this Jeep and what all we've done to it over the past few years since he's owned it. So starting right at the front here, we've got the Smittybelt XRC front bumper with the Bulldog 9,500 pound winch. We've got the Factor 55 link on the front, the Rough Country uh, pod lights or the SAE fog lights, um, and then the Rough Country light bar up there. Got Bushwhacker flat fenders, be able to fit that bigger tire on there. He was running a little bit smaller ones, but we just upped the size uh, to about a 35-ish tire. Um, he's got a Terraflex two inch kit on here with the Falcon shocks, uh, the Bushwhacker uh, corner caps um, to protect from the mirrors when it opens and the strap breaks or something. Uh, it's got Weston HDX side steps on here. We got Rough Country grab handles, the hard ones right on the inside there. Practically hang on those things. Um, and then we've got the Bushwhacker trail top, which we don't do too many of these, so these are pretty sweet. I love them on the two doors. Um, another Smittybilt XRC rear bumper on here, and then the Smittybilt HD tire carrier uh, to hold this larger tire. And then the only other thing is on the inside, he's got Rough Tough uh, Crypto Camo uh, seat covers on here. And then down in the center console, there is the Rough Country multi-switch panel. So that is the universal switch system to run all the additional lights that are on here. So pretty decent build. I love it. It's his daily. Um, it's simple, which is awesome. All right, it's Friday here and we've got a couple things in the shop. We've got a Ram TRX, amp power steps going on the side of this thing. And then on this Jeep that we just finished up a couple weeks ago with a zone lift and some new tires, uh, it is getting deviate front and rear bumpers on here along with the Bulldog 9,500 pound winch. So check out this time lapse. Never mind, just realized that this thing's not getting a winch. So just deviate bumpers. Just pulled the Jeep out of the shop with the bumpers. Take you around, give you a nice little look about these things. These DV8 bumpers are just simple, easy looking bumpers. We did the Rough Country license plate mount on there. Um, like I said, we didn't do a winch on this one. That's going on a different build, but we'll worry about that one later. Um, and then we got the DV8 rear bumper on here as well to kind of complete the look 360 on this Jeep. So pretty simple once again with the hitch and the shackles. So he's got quite a few other things done to this. We just did a three inch zone off road lift on here. Um, we did the Baja Boss AT tires in a 35 inch. Um, he's got JW speaker rear lights and headlights. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I think we did maybe a Smitty Bill, yeah, Smitty Bill HD tire carrier. And other than that, pretty dang simple. So just an overall simple build um, coming together. All right, so that is everything that we've got for this vlog. Couple things that I want to talk about real quick. If you guys haven't noticed, uh, we started doing a podcast on this channel. So uh, every Monday or Tuesday, we post a podcast from the previous week. Chris, Nate, and I um, have been doing it. So see what you think. Um, we're going to be changing a little bit on it, trying to make it a little bit better. But then another thing that I wanted to point out too is in the upcoming weeks, we're going to be getting ready for an overland adventure with this truck here. So we're going to be going out to uh, Alpine Loop in Colorado, out in the Telluride area, running that for a little bit, staying overnight, using some of the accessories that we have here. So something to look forward to in the upcoming vlogs. We'll see you next time.